you can see that a bent fabric sheet with an element ID was created and it's inserted inside the floor. If I zoom in on it a bit, you can see, get a more detailed impression of what it looks like. Finally, we have the area of efficiency. So how does the user interact with Revit? An important collection of enhancements was provided in the subscription release Revit 2015 R2. So this included platform and architectural enhancements plus MEP and structural functionality. This was already made available towards the end of 2014. It also included one API enhancement, namely a read-write workset API. So we now have methods to create a workset and to control name of worksets and the active workset ID. So finally, the workset API is more than just read-only. We have complete read-write functionality. There's also a new functionality to reveal the constraints. Some enhancements in the Schedule API to control the title and header displays. A new Datum plane base class for levels, grids and reference planes, which provides additional functionality. The Text Note API has been renovated. This is another example of more direct API access to the built-in Revit elements through an automated API generation system. So whenever we see a static create method on a class instead of the new text note creation method on the creation document, that is an indication that this API has been completely renovated and in that case also normally provides better integration and more API access. The dimension and leader API has been enhanced. So we have some new properties on the dimension, dimension segment and leader classes. Let's look at a quick demo of one piece of enhanced functionality that this provides. We have here a simple dimension and in this case the sample application is provided as an add-in with an external application interface. So I have two commands, one to align the dimension text with the, um, one of the dimension points and the second one to freely move the dimension text to any position of my choice. Switching back again to the presentation, some enhancements have been added to the PDF export functionality. So now the table of contents includes links, views and sheets are also linked and hyperlinks can be included in the PDF export. We make use of this new PDF export functionality in the collaboration and interaction with BIM 360 Glue and BIM 360 Field. Another efficiency and collaboration piece of functionality is the export of CAD files to other platforms, uh, other file formats such as DWGDXF or DGN where another CAD system might want to post-process the export generated by Revit. In that case it can be important to preserve coincident lines which were previously eliminated by the Revit export, in which case the post-processing might uh, suffer from the lack of certain closed polygon segments. Now the export options includes a new property to preserve these coincident lines. One of the most exciting and important areas for creating a complete and accurate building information model is the ability to perform analysis on the building before it's built, especially energy analysis. So we want to implement all possible functionality to enable an architect or designer 
to analyze the energy behavior of a building while it is being designed and planned. So within Revit, we can show the energy analytical model. We can use conceptual massing and building elements together. And we can use this kind of functionality to provide real-time interactive feedback and access results from the Energy Plus engine running in the cloud, displaying the result of different design choices directly in the model in real time, making it very easy for non-professionals to understand the effects of specific de design changes in the building. All in all, we see the whole area of building information modeling moving to a new level where from an application we are expanding into a platform. The desktop application is transformed into a client interacting more with web services on the cloud. The local collaboration is transformed into socially shared global collaboration. The design level of detail is expanding into construction and fabrication areas. The limited building information we had in the past is growing up to a level which allows integrated simulation. And we are moving ahead from just capturing design intent to actually being able to explore design alternatives in real time, enabling behavioral modeling instead of just pure physical modeling. So thank you very much for your attention on this. I won't be able to take any Q&A in this recorded presentation. The notes include some past Q&A from previous interactions. And thank you very much for your interest. I wish you all the best of luck and fun and creativity and success making use of the Revit API. Bye-bye.